everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today I've got to send out some shrimp orders. So I have had a couple of orders on my website, check out the link below if you want to. Um, so I thought I'd take you along, show you my bagging process, show you how I bag up shrimp so if you're doing something similar you can figure out what you need to do. So the way I like to start is to get all my stuff ready in advance. So I make this a, a kind of lunchtime job if you like. I know that I can get them to the post office fairly near the collection time so they're not hanging around in a post office any longer than they need to be. I, I try and always send these overnight but I have had them be delayed for two or even three days before and the shrimp have survived perfectly well. Um, weather wise it's not too cold at the moment so we should be okay. Um, but the first thing I like to do is get all my stuff ready. So I've got my box that I've made. Normally I make up my own boxes but I just happen to have one which I can use. I um, need to open the heat pack first because the way the heat packs work is they work with oxygen so you need to give them a bit of an airing, let the air get around them, they start to heat up and then they're good to go. I've got my box like I said and some packing material, you may recognise the green leprechaun tubes from a previous video. Uh, and the other thing I also like to do, which I've already done off camera, is check that the bags hold water and don't leak. So the way I would normally do that is just fill them up, dry them off and leave them sitting on a paper towel for half an hour or something like that, make sure that there's no leaks going on. So I know we're okay with this one. I always like to double bag as well, if not triple bag. Um, so let's get on with it. This is my shrimp tank right here, so let's get in and pick out some shrimp. So here's my shrimp tank, I'm going to get the bag in, fill it up with some water, try and give the person getting these shrimp as few bits of duckweed as possible, as everybody loves duckweed don't they? And this particular order is for 10 shrimp, and one of the, the biggest mistakes I see people making is they take too much water. So. I think that's perfect for the amount of water. Oop, I'll show you. I think that's about right for 10 shrimp. What I want to do is get the shrimp in there and then I will get as much oxygen as possible in the bag by gripping it up the top and then going down like this so you get at least half, half water, half air, if not a bit more air, but we'll see how we get on. So that's the bag, that's the water, that's fine. I'm going to float this in the tank next to it, just so that I can see what's going on. Get my little net. I should have a littler net for this, but we work with what we've got. And essentially, I sell all these as ungraded shrimp. Um, so it's pure luck of the draw whether you get some that are bright, bright red or whether you get some that are a bit less colourful. And again, get rid of the duckweed where possible. And there we go, we've got a bunch of shrimp in there. It's hard to see because of the lights. But in there we've got, yeah, a good selection, mix of different sizes. So let's get them in the bag. that I forgot to show you is roll down the bag as much as possible so you've got as small a distance as possible between your net and the shrimp that you're trying to get into the bag and then you've got the best chance of not sticking so there we go we've got a bag just double check on the count one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 12 or 13 in that one, so a little brucey bonus. With shrimp, it's also quite important that when they're being transported, they don't like just floating in the bag like that on their own. They need to have something to grab onto. So I always put in a little bit of java moss or something like that. Makes them feel a little bit more secure and gives them something to grab onto. 
Um, so, yes, that looks good. There's a mix of juveniles, adults, some nice bright ones. Yeah, so that should be good. Hopefully, we'll be happy with that. So, we take that out. Grab it near the top. Bring it down like that, and then you've got a nice big bag full of air and water, so it's nice and nice and robust. Tie that off, a couple of elastic bands, and then I put it in another bag. So I'll tie this one off just now. So there you go. There's the finished bag, tied nice and tight. Make sure that no air can escape easily. I'll then put this in another bag. So the next step is take your box. I like to put in a little bit of the packing at the bottom. Pop in the bag. So, as you can see I've made some alterations to this box and cut it down to the size that I want it to be. So that goes in there like that. It's quite a snug fit, it's not going anywhere. And then I take the roof of the box and the heat pad that I got earlier, that's nice and warm. This, is, this particular one has some sticky bits, so I can peel them off. And then the heat pad can be stuck to the top of the box. More packing in on top of the heat pack, because you don't actually want the heat pack touching the the fish bag or the shrimp bag in this case because then you might end up cooking them and you don't want that. So these things they're just designed to give off a low heat to just keep the temperature up there without actually it's not going to keep them at their ideal temperature it's just going to keep the chill off which is what we're aiming for and then that can go on top like so and that is our little shrimp package so I will tape up the seams Make sure this is ready to go, and then it's just a case of uh, wrapping this. So I'll wrap this in some brown paper, so it's like a normal parcel, and take it off to the post office. As always, gaffer tape is good for everything. And the reason that shrimp is quite a good one, so obviously I'm making this just after the shrimp video I made of how to set up the shrimp tank. Check that out after this. Um, is that, especially in the UK anyway, there are new laws governing how you can uh, buy and sell fish in the UK and you need to have a, a license for it, um, never mind transporting them, so if I was to use Royal Mail for instance won't let you send live animals but they will let you send shrimp and the rules governing breeding and selling of fish don't include invertebrates so shrimp and snails they're fine to just go in the post, they're fine to be sold a little bit callous if you ask me, because shrimp deserve just as much as any other fish, but them's the rules. There we go, we've got our little package all ready to be boxed up. Um, normally what I do is I have some sheets of polystyrene, which I don't know where they are at the moment, but I normally have some sheets of polystyrene. I normally have some sheets of polystyrene. Uh, and I'll get a box and I'll line the box with the sheets of polystyrene and that'll be the insulation but just because I happen to have this one here that's what I'll get so if you order some shrimp you probably won't get a package that looks like this um, but you will get an insulated package so next all I need to do is wrap it in some brown paper so it's nice and secure get an address on there which I'll obviously not share with you and pop these in the post so if you're the lucky person that's getting these and I think you probably know who you are by the time you see this video so this package is off to somewhere in Sheffield actually, but I have to leave for work so I won't be able to go and hand deliver it personally, so I'm just going to pop it in the post before I head off. And that should get there tomorrow, or maybe the day after at the latest. And hopefully a happy customer, so let me know in the comments if they arrive, you know who you are. Yeah, so that's it for today really, just a quick one. 
I know I've been saying just a quick one for the last few videos and it's actually been like 15 minutes long so hopefully this one will be a quick one um, as always if you're new here nice to see you thank you go and check out some other videos if you're not new thanks for checking out this one anyway give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you would do anything differently or get any other tips and packing tricks that I might need to know about but for now we'll say bye bye